do you remember me talking about the early version of the line and bear magical event? Well, I'm the same guy who found it. Well I unfortunately found another one of Anne Wood's Get Out of Contract episodes. I thought Booba 105 and the line and bear early version was enough, but no. So on Monday I was at my local Asda buying groceries with what seemed like the world's biggest shopping list. I had 47 items on it. One of the items was roast ham and since I know the shop like the back of my hand, I went down the vinyl record and DVD aisle when I saw a man with a box filled with DVDs. He said in a low-pitched British accent. Hey, do you want to tell it to be DVD for your kids? I said no due to the early version of the line and bear. Well, that isn't on there, but there are seven episodes so you can have fun with the kids. I said thank you in a nervous tone. I went to the self-service checkout where I scanned the DVD first and what happened next baffled me. After I scanned it, the screen glitched out and crashed. I immediately grabbed a basket with all the items and went to an ASDA staff member asking for help. I found one and she scanned it but her screen on the mini barcode scanner glitched out and crashed. She said. Oh, the barcode might be glitched. So I paid £9.77 for the DVD and got an alarm proof sticker. The other items scanned perfectly fine. The price came to £237.49. I paid and left. The security alarm didn't make a sound as I went home to watch the DVD. When I got home, it was about 6.15pm. So I put all the food away and looked at the DVD. I'm single and I lived alone so no one would disturb me. The disc was called, Teletubbies, Wet and Dry. I found the seven episodes on the back. They were, Cafe Chocolate, Our Dog Alice, Sea Lines, Mundir, Bubbles, Russia, Pancakes and Boats. I felt suspicious, so I checked on the Teletubbies with the and six of the episodes were there. But Boats was absent. I felt nervous about the episode. I watched the seven episodes, the first six episodes were normal, but the seventh, oh boy, that was insane. The intro began but the strange thing was, there was no warnings, screamers or anything, I felt kind of relieved. The episode began with Lala coming to the camera, she said. Ayo. The narrator then said. One day, in Teletubby land, Lala was making some tubby custard. Lala then said. Tubby custard. She made it and spilt it all over the floor. The new you then appeared and spoke in a high-pitched robotic voice. You stupid tubby, now I have to clean it up, thanks to you. I was surprised that Nunu spoke in words. He cleaned it up as the windmill span for the TV event. Lala went. Earl. Lala was chosen for the event, but something happened which surprised me. Po went up to Lala and the former then punched the latter in the stomach. Lala went to the ground as if she was kicked right in the groin. Then the narrator said to Po in a slightly angry but calm tone. Po. Don't punch La La or anyone for that matter, okay? Sorry. Stated Po to La La. La La got the TV event and it showed British soldiers from the 18th century. They or one of them stated. Hello, we are slave owners. Look how we take slaves from one place to another, thanks to the ships. One soldier had a whip whilst another had a rifle. The whip soldier with some slaves to say their names, they didn't know their names. So they got on the ship as it sailed away from Western Africa. The three ships magical event music played as they sailed to the Caribbean. The slave owners and soldiers came out of the ship as the slaves were dragged out as the TV event ended. It played again. I was shocked about how they allowed this. Then I saw the most horrific thing, the sun baby did her normal laugh. I stated. Bruh, you sadistic baby. She was laughing at the slave's part. It moved to the next scene. It showed all four Teletubbies running to the camera, then all of them shouted. Ayo. Then the narrator said. One day, in Teletubby land, the Teletubbies are going to play Simon Says. The Teletubbies asked. What's that? Then the narrator stated. It's a game where you copy my actions, but if I don't say Simon Says. You ignore my actions, if you do it, you are out. Last one in wins. Let's start. Simon says jump. They jumped. Simon says run to the tree. They ran to the tree. This continued for 7 minutes, I put it in fast forward to 4 times speed. 
Nothing scary happened but Po won. Then Lala went up to Po and punched her in the stomach like Po did to Lala earlier. The narrator yelled at Lala. Do not punch Po. Sorry. Said Lala. The magic windmill stand for the magical event. It was the three ships. The event began normally until the ships turned around when it just stopped, and then showed British soldiers, like in the TV event. They weren't even done in CGI, they were live action. They came out with whips and rifles. One of them yelled. Right you dirt maggots, you are Teletubbies, aren't you? Yes! Stated the Teletubbies. Well, you are on your way to Tubby Island, where you will harvest Tubby flour for Tubby toast as well as Tubby milk for Tubby custard. But all you get is Tubby slop. Said the soldiers. The Teletubbies all screamed and said. Run away! But before any of them got anywhere, the whips whipped the Teletubbies and threw them on the ship on the right. The one in the middle has the contents of the harvest and the ship on the left contained the scary line tied up. The ships started up again as if it was normal. The song started up again. They sailed for 48 minutes and I fast forwarded it again, nothing scary again. But when they made it to Tubby Island, it got creepy. It began at night where the Teletubbies got off the ship, the soldiers beat the Teletubbies with whips. Then the line got out of the ship and said, Remember me? The Teletubbies screamed and tried to run, but the soldiers shot Hipsy and then whipped. I felt like I was going to be sick. The soldiers demanded. You will only eat tubby slop and only tubby slop. You will work for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week non-stop, and we get to beat you whenever you mess up. Do you understand? Yelled the soldiers. Yes! Whimpered the Teletubbies. Then start now. Demanded the soldiers. Okay! Whimpered the Teletubbies. Then the screen went black for a while, and then the line roars. He startled me so much that the screen shattered my wine glass. They then ate Tubby Slop. They then planted and picked Tubby Flour and Tubby Milk, getting beaten and force-fed. Then the episode just ended. Afterwards, there was a message that read. To the person watching this, please help me and Andrew, we are in a contract we can't escape from, let us out, do it. Thank you. And would. Then the disc ejected and my house's electricity cut out as I heard a scream. The power came back seven minutes after it went off. Then again, the power went out and didn't come back on until 48 minutes later. This was a coincidence to the repetitive scenes which lasted seven and 48 minutes respectively. I had nightmares for days. I finally felt better. I went back to work with the DVD and the power went out for 7 minutes, come back on and then go out for 48 minutes. Since it was haunted, I sold it on eBay for one penny with free delivery. But eBay went out. This is the most cursed DVD I have ever seen. And just like the Teletubbies line and bare early version, we aren't releasing it due to company policies.